Aquarius, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. We're going to do the full oracle card spread. I'll flip the camera so we'll review the cards together. And then we're also going to do, um, I also provide a, a full tarot card spread, an extended reading. That link is always below in the description box. And that link, that actually, um, oh, I want to put the cards away. That actually contains a, a week ahead romance reading as well. So... FYI, just so you know, Aquarians, let's get right into the week. Let's get right into the reading. This is for Aquarius sun, moon, and rising energy for the next seven days. Wherever Aquarius energy affects, influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies. And that's why with the um, Oracle, card, Oracle card spread, I always keep it really like light. I always keep it really um energetic based as opposed to getting into specific subject matters like career or romance but if if those things are so clear i have to mention them of course i do but this is the energies for aquarius sun moon rising sign okay there's a lot of information that wants to come out for you guys and as much as i like to not do big readings it came out twice so let's begin uh, let's take these cards and see what the crowning energy is. Boom, there is always enough. So there is something like, maybe there's, I feel, you know what? This is almost like too much. There's a lot of emotions. There's a high intensity. Swimming in your emotions, feeling so much, feeling a lot. You could be dealing with a Piscean. There's a lot of creativity. There might even be, at this point, Aquarius, feeling of, because this is your crowning energy. So there could be a feeling of too much. Like too much emotion swirling around. Um, but there's also this energy of, of being inspired to be comfortable with the emotion and feel good within your own skin and feel fluent with your emotions. So for the next seven days, an energy of being able to feel comfortable with your feelings. That's the crowning energy. 36, 3 plus 6 adds up to 9. It's almost like you're coming to an end of a cycle, whether it's an end of a career or an end of a relationship or an end of being single or an end there's there's something that's coming to a close it's not a tragic ending it's a it's a closing out so that you can open up for something new and this is definitely water energy so you could be dealing with a water sign but this is my piscean card and it really is feeling comfortable with your own emotions though i feel like especially at the top of the week, there's an energy of it, it almost being too much of being very emotional about something, which is not necessarily something that you feel really, really, really um, comfortable with at first. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be having a lot of feelings for a Gemini, or you could be dealing with communications, like communications are coming in and going out, or um, you know, either they're coming into you or you're sending them out that have to do with expressing yourself and expressing your feelings. This is an energy of love is all around. So that life is a song, like you're living in the, in the world of a song. So this is definitely finding some sort of harmony with what you're feeling, harmony, get it? Um, feeling some sort of balance and stability with your emotions maybe using something like music to help stabilize you but this is there is something that's a little overwhelming about these emotions and that's why I think you might need a conduit uh, a communications conduit maybe um like uh, like something a form of self-expression maybe videos or even even direct messages something to help you feel more comfortable with the feelings and especially when going about sharing the feeling. So it wouldn't be, it would be like dedicating a song to somebody. You know what I'm saying? Instead of, instead of finding the words with this Gemini energy, you probably could find the words, but you would find the right song to play for them so that they would know exactly how you were feeling. Some, some, an energy like that, like, like finding a third person conduit for your sharing of these emotions. Like you've got to get them out, but at first you're not really that secure it's like you're secure with the emotions, but you're not really secure with the sharing of them. So you're trying to find the right way to say the words that you need to say. All right, let's get into the full reading. Those are both your crowning energies. Um, sharing your emotions. 
coming out this week and that had a lot to do with your romantic tarot too i remember you're reading from romantic tarot check that out i'll attach that link above um just an energy of being having to share what you're feeling and be the person who lets on that they're feeling something for somebody um that you have an interest in something it doesn't have to be romantic emotions it could just be like no i want this opportunity i want to take this job or um Hey, look at me, you know, uh, listen to my song or, or read my book, like taking that first step into something that is very emotional for you, something that you care about a lot, but making it known, making an announcement, calling out to somebody about uh, something that matters to you. Then you have transformation is beautiful. So this is definitely energy of trans di diving in deep so that you can grow larger. Um, just taking a plunge and making it a seat because you see, it's almost like a mermaid tail. It's a mystical, magical thing when you transform into somebody else, somebody bigger and, and broader and, and more mature, a more mature version of yourself. This is definitely air energy, but it is also scorpionic energy because it is transcendent of oneself. It's also awakening. And there is a lot of Aquarian awakening going on over the next seven days. So I'm not surprised that this card came out. This is a, a this could be a life changer, a big game changer for, for your life. Um, be at home. It could affect your home life. It could affect your family. It could affect the stability in, in how you live your life or how you've been living your life. Um, but it is a change. It's, it's, it's something that if, if you're will, if you're taking the risk, you're willing to take this risk. It could be changing locations or changing homes or something that would affect you in your home. Like, you know, deciding to bring some, bring a new boyfriend or girlfriend home to meet your, your family for the first time. So, something like that. It, it's almost like this change is coming and it's going to influence or affect your home life, how you live, believe in yourself. You have been planting the seeds. You have been developing this. You have been growing this skill or this ability, this emotional set, or um, maybe working on one person or working on this job, something that you have been dedicating yourself to um, over like uh, over a period of time. It's like it's almost like it's 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 coming to fruition now. It's coming out like the the work has begun. Believe in yourself. Have confidence in yourself. This could be um, leaving home for the first time in your life or or going to some place that's sort of out of your comfort zone, Aquarius. But believe in yourself because it's essential for what you'll be experiencing. Um, make your dreams real. Yeah, you are definitely working on something big, Aquarius. Uh, weaving something that you want to be the future. Uh, taking something out of the dream realm and making it, manifesting it into the 3D world. It's hard work and it really comes from deep inside, inside your guts like a spider's web. This is a world of your design, something that you have um, uh, contributed to, in other words. It wasn't just something that you're sitting back and watching or waiting. Now this could be, no, this is active. You've been actively participating that, that you could be, had, you could have been doing this through prayer, through manifestation, um, prayer manifest and manifestation, prayer manifestation and hard work, but you have been an active participant in building this. So this is not going to come as a surprise to you. I'm just not sure. It's almost like you're going to get a call that is going to affect you deeply because you've been working so hard on something and it matters so much to you. The call itself may be ex ex unexpected, but the project is not unexpected. It's not a surprise because you've been working on this diligently. This could have something to do with the grandmother energy. Spiders represent our grandmothers. They respect our, our lines. They represent our our lines are of line our lines of descent also maternal protective energy so this is um this is this could be something to do with your grandmother something that's stemming from a grandmother energy um maybe something that you inherited from her um some something that it it could be an attitude that you you inherited from her or or um, something that she encouraged you to do, or that, that she inspired, that was inspired by her. Something that has to do with your lineage or your heritage that you're now manifesting and weaving into life. Trust the great mystery. Okay, um, so this is you being one with the divine 
and communing with the divine and taking a leap of faith and just diving in deep. It's like you're taking that last breath of air of where you're familiar and now you're going in deep where you might have to work hard and sacrifice and things might be a little more difficult for you, but it is a place that you need to go. You're diving in deep. You're, you're definitely off the deep end at this point. You're, you're not, um, I, I'm hearing that Lady Gaga, Bradley Cooper song. Um, um, we're far from the shallows now. I'm in the deep end. Watch as I dive in. I'm far from the shallows now. Like you're in too deep to this. You, there's no turning back. Um, even though there's a little bit of melancholy going on here in terms of what you have to leave behind. A rebirth is assured. This is yet again, another card of transformation. So this is a huge transformation, transformative time in your life, Aquarius. Your life is definitely changing, big time changes, um, something that you can't come back from. That's not a bad thing, but this is a card five, right? Awakening, it's almost like you've awoken, you've awoken to a, an awareness, you've awoken to a new life, a new level of existence. You have um, like seen the light or something has changed in you. There's been a change, I, can, I keep quoting song lyrics to you because it's the best way to express what this mentality is but it's like um from the, the song from beauty and the beast um the play not the movie um there's been a change in me um a kind of moving on from what i used the, though though what i used to be i still depend upon but now i realize that Good can come from bad. That may not make me wise, but oh, it makes me glad. Um, and I, I never thought I'd leave behind my childhood dreams, but I don't mind. I found a different way to be. No change of heart, a change in me. I'm going to attach that song above just in case it helps you because I feel like that might help you this week. Take a leap of faith. Wow. Oh, wow. Aquarius, you are definitely, this is, you're moving away from the norm. Uh, this is, this is diving in deep, taking the leap. And you know what? This is also a sense of divine timing and divine guidance. Like Jiminy Cricket was that conscious. There's something about a deeper consciousness of understanding that it's time. I may not even be ready, but it's time. So I've got to do this. This it's like, it's like you're in sync. You know about the synchronicities. So even if it feels emotionally too much for you, you're going to receive the call and you're going to answer it because you know, Aquarius, it's your time. It's a, it's about the timing and the timing at this point, you have the wisdom to understand that the timing is more important than being prepared because the preparation is, is, is not what's important here. What's important here is the clock has struck and this is the moment. Um, this is your central card of weaving something new, of changing something new, of weaving your own life, your creation, active, actively creating. Uh, watch your words. Be very, very kind in terms of what you say and how you talk. Communication is key this week toward uh, getting you ahead. Also, beware, be wary of other people's words and uh, condemnation and condescending tones. Judgments coming in from other people. This is watch how you speak and watch, watch this tendency to look down on other people or other people may be looking down on you but this is all coming to an end because this is 45 4 plus 5 is 9 all of this is coming to an end this could be you have basically changed the world or changed your world and the way of people's opinions of you somebody who might have once thought of you as you know insulted you or judged you is now Look at this. And then these are these are in reverse. Peacock energy. This is scorpionic energy, but it's upside down. It's reversed. So this is um, almost like going within and seeing in deep inside. Almost like somebody's words inspired you to look within yourself and like turn the light within and get honest with who you are. Um, this is not being ready to change, not, not yet ready or, or feeling like almost like the, the world isn't ready for you, but this is learn from the past, but it's in reverse. So this is an energy of, um, letting go of the past. It's an energy of completely and totally forgetting the past 
and letting it be a part of, you know, your like letting it go, like completely and totally letting it go. Um, and, and going in, like going in somewhere blindly. I love that energy. Bring your ideas to life. Once again, a card of creation. Uh, this is a huge reading for you, Aquarius. Uh, card of creation. This is, this is work that you're doing. You're bringing something into life. That's what you're doing. You could, you could, there could be something that you have not let go of from the past. Um, and, and that may be almost like a block or a barricade to you moving forward. Basically your challenge for this week to overcome this sort of negative self-talk or, or belief of yourself, uh, that, that almost like a con, con condemning, um, a self-condemnation, almost like, uh, like, a. a so, um, a self self limiting beliefs um, is what could threaten your progress this week, could stand in your way. But I also think that this is it's an energy of being stuck. It's an energy of of something that has blocked up your 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 drains and your pipes for long enough. Let's put it that way. We it's something's got to get through. Something's got to come through and it's about to come through this week. Life is a mystery. Another great mystery card. This is also the energy of eight. So this is fate and destiny and the spirit working through you or working through somebody else to make your life move forward. This is an energy of taking on a face of the face being false, but it, it's almost like a face that you have to put on to be in a different world. Like looking, looking through the eyes of a mask so that you can see into or get a new perspective on something. Hmm. This is about creating a new persona. That's what this is about. Um, open this is your star card this is the aquarius energy this is shining bright and public recognition and attention this is getting attention and getting um um yeah just just getting attention and people recognizing you this is you shining brightly and basically having the world at your fingertips infinite possibilities nine plus five is 14 Four plus one is once again, it's a, it's the energy of five, it's change. So this is a change for the better, a change for your wishes to come true, a change that you know is going to open up a lot to you, open up a lot of opportunities for you. So you really see great things coming, even though you're not necessarily ready that's why you're jumping because you have the foresight to understand that this is a huge opportunity. So you're going to jump on it. Now, um, this and that are true is seeing both sides of a circumstance or situation, um, um, staying in the shallows and being playful. Try to be very light and very playful this week. Try not to judge or use your words or talk too sharply. This is, there will be people that you're coming um, across that are a little bit uh, easy to condemn. They are easily condescending. So this is an idea of it's better to listen and hear and say, speak with intent. Um, if you speak at all, um, use few words, but important words. Um, and the rest of the time, be very, very playful, Aquarius. Um, um, hop and skip among the waves and also use your intellect. Um, don't, it's not like you're playing the fool. That's not the energy, but you're playing and you're being playful while it's almost like there are contracts being signed and negotiations in progress. So that's probably where the discomfort is coming from in that you're not, you're not really, you know, this is a big opportunity, but you haven't really gotten anything confirmed. So I think that's why you're still sort of trying to play both sides and make sure something comes through. Reclaim your power. This is you finding your strength and your personal identity again. Um, yeah, this is, yeah, yeah. It's, it's literally that power coming back inside of you. Um, so maybe you had gone through a very compromised, difficult period of your life and you're, you're just coming out on the light end of it now. And then co-create with spirit. This is part of your divine purpose. This is also part of your, um, it's almost like when I see this card, I always think of the nine of pentacles, standing in your power, knowing that all you need is the connection to spirit, listening with spirit, not, 
this is okay this is the timing this is the timing thing um this is and saturn saturn and karma and the capricornian energy it's all about timing so it this is all about timing this is like maybe you're not ready but spirit says you are so you're just going to trust it you're 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 not going to question it this is you, like I said, you may not be confident in your competence, but you're confident that spirit knows what it's doing and that it wouldn't have presented this to you if it wasn't the perfect time. This is one plus 17, one plus seven is eight. That's another fate and destiny card. And these are both very spiritual cards. So Aquarius, you don't have all the facts. You don't have all the proof but you do have all the faith and that's what you're proceeding with. And then last but not least, dream the world into being. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, this is the energy of once again, it's, it's very familiar with this energy. This is you creating your new reality out of the ashes of the past. This is also the energy of something that was dead or something that had died, still somehow being present at, at, at almost like, being present in the soil that you're growing the new seeds from you know it's 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 almost like in this sense it's feeding you it's 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 pushing you forward it's helping you grow it's giving you a firm base it's it's you expanding on uh your family it's you expanding on um um your your heritage let me flip the camera around hold on so, so you see how huge this spread is? And so a lot is going to change over the next five, seven days. Um, and, and this is part of your creation, something that you have been an active part of. But I also feel like there is an ancestral connection somehow. So something coming out that you've expanded on. It could be, you know, something that your grandmother or gram, you know, your grandmother taught you when you were young and you basically making it into a show or making it into a performance or, you know, like it's something like that. It's, it's something that's been connected through generations and this feeling of not necessarily being a hundred percent ready, right? Not having all the wisdom that you need. Um, it's almost like there's almost like a little bit of a block here. This is the concerning part. And this is what I'm going to go d dive into when it comes to tarot about what these reversals are. Let it shine is in reverse and so is learned from the past. So there's still something Aquarius that you don't know, that you don't understand. But even in, in despite not understanding and not having all the information, there, you're just going to, this is why you have to take the leap of faith and it is the right decision, but where are you leaping to? I'm going to find out. So we're going to go over to tarot. Um, uh, the link is below. We'll do your full tarot card spread Aquarius and coming up upon the, um, seven day forecast for romance. I'll see you up there.